guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a sunset eye makeup tutorial. Uh, I posted a picture of this on my Instagram a couple days ago and I had a couple requests of filming this makeup look. It's just like an orange eyelid with some yellow in the crease and I did use my new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, the Artist Palette. Uh, so if you'd like to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. I think that was pretty good. It was like two takes. <laughs> To start off this makeup look, I'm going to be picking up the yellow shade in the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette. I'm going to be blending this all into the crease and into the upper crease, and I'm going to be going into the palette a couple times just to make sure that the color is very vibrant. The next color that I'm going to be picking up in the palette is the white shade and I'm going to be putting this in the upper part of where I put the yellow between the end of the yellow and my brow bone just so the color is more faded. I thought it was a little bit too vibrant up at the top of my eye so I thought that I'd put a little bit of the cream color in it to kind of diffuse the color and so it is a nice gradient effect. I also put this cream color in my inner corners. Now for the eyelid, I used an orange shade and I did decide to go to my Makeup Geek palette and use the color Chickadee. There is an orange shade in the Anastasia Artist palette, but I just thought it was a little bit too sparkly for the look that I was going for, so because it does have shimmer in it, but you are more than welcome to use that color. It does also look very pretty. I have used it before, but I just decided today that I wanted to go for a more matte look, so I went in with the Chickadee color from Makeup Geek. After placing the chickadee color all over my lid, I went in with a blending brush just to blend away the harsh edges. This blending brush did not have any product on it, but after it was all blended, I went into the chickadee color on this brush just a little bit, just to make sure that everything was seamless. The next shade I picked up was Dusty Rose and I put this underneath my lower lash line. I didn't think that the orange would look good under there, I just thought it would look way too orange. So I just went with this subtle color and it was Dusty Rose and then I went in with me the white shade and just put it more into the inner corner. Then for eyeliner, I went in with the new Smashbox Gel Eyeliner and quite honestly, I really don't like it. This is only the second time that I had used it and both times it just didn't work out. The tip was like a little bit too flimsy and it just, it was hard. Uh, then for my eyelashes, I went in with my Lights Camera Lashes Mascara by Tarte just to prep them for falsies and then for falsies I'm using my Esquito Miss Dolly Lashes. And for my face, I had already had foundation and powder and cream bronzer, the Chanel one that I used in my last video. So I just am topping off the bronzer with some of my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Give Me Sun. And for blush, I'm using my Becca blush in Damselfly. For highlight, I'm using my Becca Moonstone Highlighter. And 
for lips, I'm lining my lips with my favorite lip liner, and this is MAC Strip Down, and then I'm topping it off with my Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in Kimchi Doll. Alright, and this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. I know this look isn't going to be for everybody, but this is just such an amazing palette that I wanted to do something kind of out there that I know not everyone's going to do a tutorial on. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you liked my video. I put out new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. And your nose is just